Hey everyone, welcome to BNN. My name is Ben. I'm about to spoil the first hour of Avengers Endgame, so if you do not want to hear this, please do not watch this video. Go away. Someone shared this with me, and um, this is what he said. He said, the movie begins with Thanos on the planet, which he was on at the end of Infinity War, Titan 2. The scene cuts to Tony Stark on the Benatar repairing his helmet. Nebula tells Tony the Benatar lost his power, then Tony finds that he's stuck in space. Klain from Winter Soldier, the movie Winter Soldier, arrives on Avengers facility. Some time has passed. He tells Black Widow that Fury has been dusted and gives them the Captain Marvel pager. Bruce Banner and Rocket are trying to find where Thanos has gone. The team at Avengers HQ seems preparing a fight for a fight against Thanos, but not ready. They are also looking for the missing Avengers. The rest of the Avengers are tracking the dusted people, and that's the post credit scene we saw in Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel arrives at HQ. Black Widow tells Carol about what happened, which is what I had predicted, by the way. Tony can't seem to work the solution to power the spaceship, and the oxygen gets low on the ship, so Tony loses hope and records his last words to his helmet, his message to Pepper. Nebula finds a remaining Analex battery which Rocket stole from the Sovereign and tells Tony and Tony and Nebula power the ship with the Analex battery. The Benatar flashes through the cosmos, Tony and Nebula reach Earth and crash land on Avengers HQ. Tony meets Pepper and gets treatment from a medic, seems like hospital and everything is shut down. The rest of the Avengers gather to discuss about their actions, Nebula tells them about re Thanos retiring after his actions. Banner and Rocket find the planet Thanos has retired to. Captain Marvel suggests a fight against Thanos. Thor agrees to this. The Avengers set off to Thanos. Black Widow tells Captain America this is gonna work and Cap replies, I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. They reach Titan 2. Then Thanos sees them and repairs this gauntlet using the stones. The Avengers ask Thanos to undo the decimation and he replies, it's not possible. Captain Marvel attacks Thanos followed by all the Avengers. Thanos seems undefeated. Even Thor with Stormbreaker fails. Thanos destroys the Benatar. He grabs Captain Marvel and uses the Space Stone to take her powers and Captain Marvel loses some of her powers. Thor realizes the Avengers are on death threat so he summons the Bifrost to save all the Avengers and get back to Earth. The Avengers are heartbroken. Everybody, everybody except for uh, Steve Rogers accepts the fate and wants to move on. Thor leaves to find surviving Asgardians. Captain Marvel, Rocket, Nebula, they also leave. Steve Rogers and Tony Stark meet up. Tony realizes Steve cannot accept his fate. So the scene cuts to show Scott Lang stuck in the quantum realm. He explores the quantum realm and still has the healing particles. Scott Lang then jumps into a time vortex. Scott cannot find Hank Pym or Hope and he sees missing posters and he realizes that some time has passed after the jump but he is scared to know how the world has changed he meets his daughter Cassie Lang who got older by now Tony and Pepper have a three-year-old daughter Bruce and Natasha are in love Banner and other scientists who survived have been studying Loki's scepter to make Infinity Gauntlet asked by Steve Rogers so it's saying Steve is the one who initiated that Thor found Val Valkyrie and surviving as as guardians on an on another planet and Thor becomes their king there everyone has moved on even Natasha thinks it is the only way but Steve Rogers has still not given up he still has hope and thinks something can be done he tells Nat he doesn't want to move on N Natasha still has belief in, in Steve as she always was on his side on the next scene Steve gets a message from Scott Lane waiting outside Avengers HQ Scott and Natasha are shocked as they thought Scott was dusted. Scott tells them how he escaped through time vortex and landed in the future. This strikes the idea of time travel in Steve's head. Steve tells Tony and Banner, Bruce says time travel can be messy and they may get stuck in alternate universe or change the future. Tony says he wants to do this and leaves Pepper and his daughter for this mission. Natasha goes to Tokyo to find Barton, who now is Ronin fighting Yakuza, who is possessing the Yuru medal. He tells Natasha how his family got dusted in front of his eyes. That must have been so painful. And Natasha tells Clint this is their final hope of getting friends and families who got dusted. Thor arrives with Valkyrie and others. Natasha calls Captain Marvel and she arrives with Rocket, Nebula, and the Nova Corps. Now that's pretty interesting. Now the Yuru medal from the Yakuza was used to make the gauntlet and Banner uses barf tech to bring on Professor Hulk. I don't know how the hell he's going to do that. Tony makes suits to travel in Quantum Realm and uses Hank Pym's office which Scott bring for the quantum tunnel, you know, the van. The Avengers get ready to fight one more time, whatever it takes.
Man, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. There's some things in here that I definitely probably wouldn't agree with. Part about them waiting outside to, to meet Scott Lang. They're looking up. So Scott Lang coming out of the quantum realm, he wouldn't be coming from up top. They're either looking at Thanos arriving at HQ or they're looking at Tony and Nebula crashing. But this leak was pretty accurate. I mean, I remember this same source. I read the first 30 minutes of the Avengers Infinity War movie last year. That screening was shown. The first 30 minutes was shown to people and this was this this source right here was the exact same source that I read. I read the first 30 minute synopsis. When I watched the first 30 minutes of Infinity War, I said, "Oh wow, this is exactly what I read." So, I don't this might be accurate. So, I just may have spoiled the first hour of the movie for y'all. But anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Seriously, there's another video that I have coming up for the plot leaks. Click all these videos right here for any other plot leaks, Captain Marvel, Avengers related, and if there's anything that y'all want me to talk about, do not hesitate to DM me. Thank you all so much for watching guys. Peace.